welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila and if you are new, welcome. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. For today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing $80 into some of my sinking funds. I feel like I am a little bit behind on my videos because um, two weeks ago, my mom had two doctor's appointments that I went with her. Um, she had one at 12 o'clock and then one at 2.30. And so by the time that I had to get ready and pick her up and then take her, like most of my morning was gone. And so I feel like I haven't been able to film and kind of catch you guys up on some things that I have been doing. Um, one of the things that you will see different today is this printable. I was using a laminating or laminated um, sheet that just had my sinking funds and then my what I wanted to budget and then what I actually budgeted. And then I made this one. Um, this one has all the, um, what do you call it? Like the, the money that I need to pull out so that way it's easier. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. My, I'm just like, my mind's going blank right now. But um, so I made this um, printable and I've already highlighted the ones that I have already cash stuff. And so I have $80. I did have um, $100 that I wanted to cash stuff into clothing since um, I had mentioned that we need more clothes for fall and winter. So $100 was kept in my bank account because um, I want to do an online order um, on Gap Outlets um, for my to buy my son some more sweaters. So I left $100 there. And then for my paycheck this week, I set $700 into my Christmas um, fund in my bank account. So I told you guys that I had some money in the bank for Christmas and then some is for um, cash stuffing. So I decided to put $700 of my paycheck um, towards Christmas and that is because um, for Black Friday I want to do some online shopping and so um, I move well I kept that money in the bank instead of pulling it out and doing it in cash so that is where some of my paycheck went to and then some of it um, I was going to take out to put in my emergency fund which is $40 and then finish my monthly um challenge which is the monthly challenge that i have been doing and so i think i only need 50 dollars left to do or 40. i don't remember how much but i was gonna pull that out when i got paid um and so i didn't deposit my husband's check this saturday which was when i was going to get that money out because we had plans for Saturday, so I didn't even get a chance to deposit his check, so I'm gonna have to do that Monday. So yeah, I only have $80, and I actually got this from the ATM, so I am going to be, um, I guess, moving some money around so I could do exact change. So the first thinking fund that I am going to be doing today is for school. So I have been taking out, um, or I did take out, five, I think it was $5 for, um i think my son had what did he have oh i had to buy him a flute was it is it called the flute or he calls it a recorder um but it's basically for choir it was five dollars so i got five dollars out of the school envelope and then i also got out i think it was three dollars um for fun money um not fun money, fun snack. So every Friday they have a fun snack that they can purchase. So right now I only have five, six, seven dollars left in the school um, sinking fund. So I am going to be adding 15, but because I don't have any change, I am going to be um, putting this 20 in and then putting this 20 back over here. So now we have $22. I'm not sure if I am going to be keeping track with these um, sheets for the school one since I constantly am going to have to go in here and um, add more, I guess, money to it. So um, 22 because I didn't write down the $3 for the um, fun money that I pulled out this Friday. So, so for school, um, I did do 15, so let's go ahead and cross that out. So one of the things that I did um, that I was gonna show you guys are all the printables that I did for my A5 binder. I was gonna show you guys 
how I set that up, but I changed that again. But I am going to be showing you guys what I am currently am going to be using for my um, planner, but that is going to be on a future video. But anyways, let's move on. I'm going to skip Christmas because I already did that one. We're going to skip uh, Christmas. I left that in the bank. I am going to be skipping birthdays, vacation, prime. I am going to be skipping because I had put extra last month. So I am going to be adding $30 to my HOA, $15 to makeup, $15 to um, towards skincare. So let's just go ahead and get the makeup and skincare binder. I do need um, skincare because y'all know I've got some skincare, was it last month? The e.l.f. Um, skincare. And I went through that moisturizer like it's no joke. And so I'm gonna need something soon. Um, I don't have change for skincare. So let me see if I can get for makeup. Okay, let me see where I can find some change for these 20s and I'll be back. Okay. Okay, so I have my insurance envelope where I do my insurance um, sinking fund. So I am going to be um, getting some money out of here. So I should do 10, 15, 20, and then add another 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30. So let's put this money back. Wait, 20, 40, 65. Okay. Making sure I am, I kind of get confused with like putting the money back. So let's see. 20, 40, 50, 65. Let's see if I can find money from somewhere else. Oh, now I can do, I guess, the HOA since I am already here. So HOA is going to get 30. So I can do, I can do 40 and then get $10 out. So $10 and then I'm going to be putting $40. Let's count HOA, 20, 40, 60, 80. 120 so our HOA is due in March so HOA is done for so makeup is going to get 15 so I did run out of my Maybelline foundation not the Maybelline stick foundation but the one that I did a review on is the super stay um, I forgot the name of it, but I love that foundation so much. I think I am going to be repurchasing that one because my skin loves it. I don't have any breakouts. It's like, it's good for dry skin. It stays on all day and it's just, I just love that foundation. So I think I'm going to repurchase that with, um, these $15. I do want to add more though, because I do have that stick foundation that I can use, even though I don't really like it as much, but I do like to finish off like makeup before I buy some more. So after I finish that foundation stick for Maybelline, I am going to be repurchasing that foundation again. So makeup got 15 and now let's add 15 to skincare. And why do I have $5 left? I don't understand. So skincare. Oh, I know why, because it was $75, and then I could only, they only give 20s at the ATM, 20s and 50s, so now I know why I have $5 extra. So I can add $5 extras to somewhere else, and I think I'm going to do it to skincare, because moisturizing creams can be a little bit more expensive, so I'm just going to be adding 20 instead of um, 15. So let's go ahead and write down the actual amounts that I put in there. So school, I did put 15, 
HOA, I did add 30. Um, my insurance, I already, I already did that one last time, but I don't know why I didn't put the number on there. Um, so makeup, did 15, skincare, 20. So the ones that I want to do for November is um, birthdays and uh, vacation. I do want to add that since I did um, Christmas this month. So next month, my focus is going to be more on birthday and vacation. And then um, I need to pull out the money for my monthly challenge. Halloween is done. So I did do a Halloween $100 challenge. My son did purchase his costume already and I bought some candy. And so um, I just need to take out my monthly challenge and my emergency fund. And then that would be all the sinking funds that I was able to do for October. So yeah, that is going to be all for today's video. Um, I will keep you updated on these um, sheets. I am going to be showing you guys my planner that I'm currently using, and I'm gonna be showing you guys all the, printable, all the printables that I am using. But yeah, that is going to be all for today's video. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. I am trying to reach 200 subscribers. Um, so yeah, I hope that you found this video helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.